What's up everyone, Jason here, the King of Programming. Today I'm talking about four strategies I use to stay jacked as a 41 year old dad and we're gonna start right now. All right, guys, let's talk about four strategies that I've used with success over the years. And I will tell you to start this off today that I am in better shape now at 41 than I was at 31. Now, there's a myriad of factors that have changed since then. But to be honest, I think now I have more excuses to, to be in worse shape just by virtue of having young kids, having a lot more responsibilities. Um, and certainly, you know, with that comes a lot of change just in your life. Now, one thing I will say is that if you're getting older and you have new responsibilities, maybe you're a new dad or maybe you've, you've had kids for a while and you're not shifting, then there's something to be gained if you do shift. And a lot of times um, what, what you did in our 20s, our 30s, isn't the thing that we're gonna do for the rest of our life. And I'll be honest, I, I have gone through many different phases of this, doing different styles of training. I spent 20 years doing conjugate training, and then two years ago, I shifted to full body training. I never thought I would be doing full body training exclusively. It was something I dabbled with, but it was one of those things that I wasn't fully bought into, but things change. So my point being is that you need to evolve. So the first thing that has been a strategy for me as I've gotten older is cleaning up my nutrition on the weekend. You probably think like, well, what about during the week? The week has never been an issue for me. I have found more of a struggle with the weekend eating, going off the rails completely on the weekend. Now, if you don't have Monday through Friday squared away, then of course you gotta get that squared away first, right? That's gonna serve as the foundation for everything we do. But I tend to see that people will get into a schedule of eating that works for them. And whether that's a macro-based approach or again, finding foods that align with them and don't, don't give them allergies or things that would potentially put them in position to, to not get the results they're looking for. I see that a lot of the people that I have worked with over the years, they get towards the weekend and it's off the rails. Drinking, barbecues, completely just not following any nutrition principles, not following any form of compliance to healthy eating. And this was me, guys. I would get to the weekend and be like a free for all. Eat whatever I want, go out to eat, go to parties, yada, yada, yada. And obviously that's something that can really take away from what we're trying to do. Now in my 20s, it didn't matter. I could eat healthy Monday through Friday and go off the rails on the weekend and still make progress. In my 30s, I started to notice that was not the case. And more towards my later 30s, it was like, shit, two days would take away from the five days. It would almost negate the five days. And this to me was a problem. So what I have tried to do, and some of this stuff is gonna seem overly simplistic, but what I've tried to do is that when I hit the weekend, I try to eat my scheduled meals from the week. So I try to eat, still eat the same breakfast. I try to still eat the same dinner or lunch. And you know, if I go out to eat or something else comes into play, I account for that. So I might change what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. I might down-regulate the amount of carbohydrates I have in my breakfast or fats I have to make up for something that is coming during that day. But I try to get in some of my regularly scheduled meals. Not only does this help with my overall compliance throughout the weekend, but it helps just keep those cheat meals, if you will, um, in more alignment with the total week as a whole, okay? So mathematically, if you were to look at, you know tracking your calories on the weekend versus the week. If you go completely off the rails on the weekend, it can really take away your averages from the entire week. So I try to get in some of my regularly scheduled meals. This has helped immensely. Again, overly simplistic, but execution of this is much easier said than done. All right, guys, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate having you here and subscribing to my content. If any of this information resonates with you and you want more free value, I would love the chance to support you on my weekly newsletter. We put out a ton of free content. Myself and my wife, Danny, put this out. We write it every single week to curate a ton of great stuff for you guys. The link is in the show notes and we'll see you on the inside. The weekend comes, especially during the summer, you have barbecues and commitments. It is much easier to go off the rails try to hold yourself to a few of those regularly scheduled meals. Maybe we start off with a micro goal. Maybe um, instead of binging the entire weekend, we do two healthy meals on Saturday, two healthy meals on Sunday. 
And then, you know, again, whatever those other meals are, you eat what you want, but starting with some micro goals. You don't have to reinvent the wheel here. You don't have to go completely all in. You can certainly start with the lowest effective dose and that might make a difference for you. So this is my first strategy for a reason. I am not someone that talks a lot about nutrition, but I will tell you, this has been the biggest piece of the puzzle for myself, especially as I've gotten older. Number two, I train full body strength sessions three times a week. And those are short sessions. They're 45 to 60 minutes, which includes both my warm up and my cool down sequence. Okay, so I'm not doing a body part split. I am not spending hours in the gym. I do basic stuff, squatting, single leg, pressing, upper pull. I do some loaded carries. And you know, this is again, kind of the mainstay of my programming. I've talked about this already quite a bit. If you haven't seen my full body programming strategies video, or even my training videos where I go through actual training sessions, that's how I train guys. It is simple. It is clean. I put in maximal intensity into those sessions. I don't get overly sore because I use a full body approach. And because of that, when I go into those sessions, I'm able to really lock in and hit it pretty hard with the exercises I've chosen. Typically, my sessions include anywhere from five to six exercises. So again, I'm really streamlining and really putting maximal intent into the exercise I'm doing. I do that on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Point number three, aerobic conditioning. Big surprise, right? I talk about this ad nauseum. You can see any of my videos on this. On the days I'm not doing full body strength work, I am doing aerobic work. And usually that comes by way of doing things like the air runner, the air bike, the ski erg, sled push or pull with a lighter load for longer durations. And I do this across 60 minutes on Tuesday and 60 minutes on Thursday. So a total of two hours per week. This allows me to have the weekend free. I tend to do a lot of things on the weekends with my kids. I like to be outside. I like to do yard work. And again, that stuff allows me the freedom. That split allows me the freedom to have the weekend where it can be what I want. But typically when I'm not training, I'm not doing actual training in this gym, it gets a lot easier to go off the rails with a diet. This is where you have to really lock in and make sure that you are planning some of your meals. And one of the things you might do to plan is making sure that you have enough meal prep, having enough time to meal prep and have stuff for the weekend, okay? So those three things have been a mainstay for me. Now, the fourth and final thing is my sleep. Again, you're probably not like, holy shit, I'm reinventing the wheel here. I'm not reinventing the wheel, but I go to bed at the same time and I wake up at the same time every single day. And for me, that is getting to bed relatively early. I usually get to bed around nine o'clock. I'm usually asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. So 9.15, I'm usually out. And I wake up around 5.30, 5.45 every day. And this is something I do Monday through Sunday. So seven days per week. I go to bed at the same time, I wake up at the same time. Some of you that are younger might think, oh, that's lame, but guess, guess what? Life changes, we get older, our priorities change, and if you're not evolving as you get older and making adjustments, then you're not gonna continue down the path of getting great results in the gym, feeling how you wanna feel, looking how you wanna look. All of those things are intertwined. They're not separate things, all right? So just to recap, I prioritize eating clean on the weekend, and again, if you're not eating clean during the week, then that's a whole other discussion that you should be having with yourself. Number two, I train full body strength three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Number three, I do aerobic conditioning on Tuesday and Thursday, a total of two hours per week. It is very basic. There's not a whole lot of, of sexiness to it. And again, you can check out some of my content on that. And then the fourth thing, I go to bed at the same time. I wake up at the same time every day. These are the four things. I know you probably like watch this video like, oh, I want like, I'm gonna like come upon some, some awesome sexy solution. There isn't one guys, you just have to be consistent. Don't overthink what you're doing, just do it. It's the execution, be consistent, execute, don't overthink, get it done. Remember guys, results are king. Best program available on the internet today. I think it's very difficult to find a trainer like Jason. That Since joining Everyday Heroes, I feel like I've stopped working out and actually started training.